The transfer window is open in just a week, and in the lead up to the window opening, the hoops have been linked to a host of candidates. In today's video, we'll discuss some massive Celtic transfer news. As it seems, the hoops are locked into negotiations. Not only that, but we'll also bring you all the latest Celtic news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into today's video, as always, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. The international break is going swimmingly for some Celts, but for others the same cannot be said. Dyson Maida is enjoying playing at wingback for Japan for the first time, whilst Anthony Ralston looks set to be Scotland's first choice right back for the European Championships. For Alistair Johnson though, things are not going too well. His Canada team faced the Netherlands in a friendly last night, and lost by a notable 4 goals to nil. Starting at right back, Johnson played until the 56th minute, his nation being sunk by none other than Jeremy Fringpong. The former Parkhead fan favourite just had the season of his life with Bayer Leverkusen, winning a German domestic double whilst remaining invincible in the Bundesliga. He scored one and assisted another last night, being named man of the match as the Dutch ran right against Johnson's team, who now face a daunting trip to play France. The Celt getting a run out against the likes of Kylian Mbappe and Ousmane Dembele will only serve him well as Canada ramps up preparations for the upcoming Copa America. Celtic are currently in transfer talks to Sparta Prague to attempt to secure the services of goalkeeper Peter van Dahl Jensen as they seek a replacement for the retired Joe Hart. Hart concluded his illustrious career with a Scottish Cup victory against Rangers, leaving a significant void in the Celtic squad. Peter Vindal Jensen, a 26-year-old Danish goalkeeper, has emerged as a top target for the Celts this summer. Jensen impressed last season with 47 appearances for Sparta Prague, having joined them initially on loan from AZ Alkmaar. It is reported by Football Scotland that Brennan Rodgers holds his goalkeeper in high regard and is eager to bring him to Glasgow as Celtic look to make positive strides in Europe. Despite Sparta Prague's reluctance to part with Jensen after signing him on a long-term deal following a successful loan, Celtic is pushing forward with negotiations. Jensen's current long-term contract with the Czech club suggests that Celtic might need to pay a substantial transfer fee to secure his transfer. Following this, Celtic have set their sights on Welsh centre-back Chris Mepham as a potential summer signing according to Mail Sport. Currently playing for Bournemouth in the Premier League, Mepham is entering his final year of his contract, making him an attractive option for Celtic as they look to strengthen their defence. Chris Mepham, who's aged 26 years old, has established himself as a solid defender in the Premier League. Standing at 6 foot and 3 inches tall, he has been with Bournemouth since January 2019, after moving from Brentford. His contract with Bournemouth is due to expire in June 2025, but with only a year left, his future is up in the air. On the international stage, Mepham has been a key player for Wales, earning over 40 caps since his debut in March 2018. He has represented his country in major tournaments, such as UEFA Euro 2020 and the 2022 FIFA World Cup, known for his strong defensive skills and aerial prowess. Mepin has been a reliable figure in the Welsh defence. Despite his abilities, the Welsh international has struggled to hold down a regular starting slot with the Cherries. This lack of consistent first-team football has left Mepin seeking more opportunities, and a move to Celtic could provide him with the playing time he desires. Mepin's playing style is characterised by robust tackling and excellent positional awareness. His physical presence and ability to read the game make him a good defender. Despite facing some injury challenges, including a significant knee issue, he has consistently bounced back. Celtic's interest in Mepham is at an early stage, with no formal approach made just yet. However, their pursuit of the Welsh defender reflects Brendan Rodgers' ambition to enhance his defence. With his experience in the Premier League and at the international level, Mepham could bring valuable expertise to the Scottish champions. Dyson Maida has developed into somewhat of a cult hero at Celtic over the past few years. Signed from Yokohama F. Marinos by Ange Postagoglu, the Japanese wide man remains as key under Brendan Rodgers as the previous manager. His contributions in Glasgow derbies this season, where he has given James Tavernier nightmares, have moulded him into a favourite among many supporters. Few will forget his opener at Ibrox within 21 seconds, or his direct run which saw John Lundstrom divert the ball into his own net at Parkhead a few weeks later. He has had a few injury issues this season, but on the whole, the 26-year-old has proved reliable. Maida accumulated 36 appearances in all competitions throughout the 2023-24 campaign, registering 14 goal contributions in the process. He has played on the right and left wing several times, but recently he has been utilised in a new role for his country. 
Indeed, Haji Moriyashu put Maeda on for the first half hour of Japan's 5-0 win over Minya yesterday as a right wing back. Maeda has never played such a role in his career, but one can comprehend Moriyashu's decision because a double winner has all the attributes to defend, get up and down the pitch amply and prove a threat in attack. On the positional change, the player himself admitted it doesn't phase him. He said, I'm an attacking player, so I can play forward, but totally fine with defence. Wing back is my first position in my career, but I'm having fun now. Japan take on Syria on Tuesday. It will be intriguing to see whether Maida takes up a similar role in the World Cup qualifier. Despite much of the football and focus currently being on the international scene and the upcoming Euros, Celtic remains active in the transfer market. Just off the back of winning a domestic double, the Hoops are already looking to strengthen the squad for next season and could do so with the addition of Daniel Amati. According to a report from Turkish outlet NTV Sport, the Scottish champions are interested in signing the 52-time capped Ghana international from Besiktas, having tabled a bid for €4 million Euros for his services. It is said that the Celts want to sign Amati, a versatile player who manager Brendan Rodgers trusts. The Parkhead gaffer works with the 29-year-old throughout his tenure at Leicester, Amati making over 70 appearances under his stewardship. Able to amplify play at centre-back, hold in midfield and right-back, Amati would bring so much needed depth and quality to the team. Having won the Premier League, FA Cup and Community Shield, he has been over the course in England, but in his year with Besiktas in Turkey, it hasn't worked out for him. Perhaps Amati can rediscover his form courtesy of a reunion with his old boss this summer. Legia Warsaw have shown interest in securing a loan deal for Celtic defender Mark Nowocki. The Polish club who Celtic brought the defender from last summer contacted him about a possible loan. However, despite the approach, Nowocki is currently inclined to stay at Celtic. The player's decision comes as he looks to fight for more minutes under Brennan Rodgers. However, if he isn't given time in pre-season, he then may look at Legia Warsaw return then, reports Polish journalist Sebastian Stowesi. Nowocki's first season with Celtic has been challenging, marked by limited game time and struggles with injuries. With Liam Scales preferred in the starting lineup, Nowocki's opportunities have been sparse. However, the defender is focused on the upcoming pre-season, seeing it as a critical chance to impress Rodgers and carve out a more substantial role in the team. There does seem to be a player in Nowocki, hopefully he can show that to Brendan Rodgers and turn into a successful signing for the Hoops. Celtic fans, what do you make of what we discussed in today's video, and especially with regards to all the transfer news? Let us know down in the comment section below. That does bring us to the end of today's video guys. As always, make sure you do drop a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Thank you, take care, bye bye.